Not long after British Prime Minister David Cameron did the same, President Obama said Friday that he opposes encryption methods that are inaccessible to law enforcement. Rather naively, he advocated that the technology should still exist, but with methods of access for approved entities like police and preferred spy agencies. This is his first clear issue stance on the matter, though it is not necessarily out of step with his previous actions and statements. Of course, Cybersecurity experts collectively groaned at the president's suggestion of strong encryption that is only accessible to authorities. Taking for granted that law enforcement can be trusted, and, of course, Edward Snowden and countless others have shown us we cannot, there are a host of problems. The basic problem is this, if someone other than the person doing the encryption can decrypt the information, then lots of people can do it. In 2005, Hundreds of Greek government officials had their calls intercepted over the period of many months. How? At the behest of Vodafone, Ericsson had built a backdoor into their devices. While it wasn't enabled in Greece, hackers were able to exploit this vulnerability that was designed solely for law enforcement purposes. In 2010, Chinese hackers gained access to numerous Gmail accounts by using a backdoor built to comply with American law enforcement orders. Still unknown entities are using a method of cell interception in Washington, D.C. that is meant to only be used by the FBI.